the great thing about about this brief is as as you say it can draw on experience of campaigns that i know have worked in this space um before but i think um the thing that is always at the heart of a campaign that works as i kind of mentioned before is when you can really draw on that emotional connection mm. and i think that is where we've got to with the strategy and with the work for this campaign is that we've got something that is authentic and true but turns up in a way that feels very engaging for the audience that we're talking to and we're not talking to the people that have said i would never work in hospitality because we're not going to convert those people at least not in the short term mm -hmm. we need to talk to those people now that have options that could come and work in hospitality but could also go and work in a fulfillment center or in a supermarket or in a whole host of other places and we need to find something about hospitality that makes it feel like something that they want to do like something that's a choice and something that the best positions that you can take are ones that deposition the competition and i think that's where we've got to with the work is something that depositions the competition and through spending time um with people that have just started working in hospitality and doing that kind of research um i think we've got to a really good place where we kind of crack that insight which feels obvious but i think we're delivering in a really true way which is you know young people have been forced out of engaging activities connections fun for the last two years and they're tired and they're bored of being bored mm -hmm. you have then this amazing industry where you can say a lot of negative things about it and people do but the one thing you can't say about hospitality is that it's boring and that it is it is so that is the common thread between everyone i spoke to and in the researcher i thought right we're really on something here i think one person said i could i used to work in a supermarket and i would rather do a nine hour shift behind the bar than a two hour shift in a supermarket because i can tell you that the nine hour shift behind the bar will go much quicker mm. And it taps into something that is a psychological development point of the audience that they're at the point where they want connections, fun, engagement, excitement, something different. And it taps into an inherent truth about the job that you're offering. And so I think that insight that we're kicking off and how we're then able to form that into a really aspirational way of talking about the different jobs in hospitality is what will really cut through um, and attract people um, to work in it. So I think there's that. And then you know, all of the extra stuff, you know, the great thing about where, I, where I'm working now, uh, being able to work with the likes of Rory Sutherland and all the behavioral science team at Ogilvy and bringing all of that um, into the mix means that there's like an emotion. I think we've got to a place where we've got an emotional heart to the campaign, but there's also some real smarts that we're building in throughout so i think if um if we can get enough people behind this campaign i think we stand a chance of really getting young people to look at um hospitality in a light that is very very aspirational and exciting especially now well i think that's the other thing about the fundraising is it's not you know it's not people giving money it's people investing mm -hmm. if we can if we can if we can do this and we can position hospitality as a career the way that it deserves to be positioned, then every year the recruitment costs will start to come down because we won't be trying to get people in that aren't thinking about hospitality or have dismissed it because that's the most expensive moment to be recruiting. It becomes cheaper and easier to recruit if people actually want to work in your industry.